No, we don't need to land on the moon again. Editors note the opinions in this article are the authors, as published by our content partner, and do not necessarily represent the views of MSN or Microsoft. President Trump is looking for a fight to win and he's settled on space use specifically, landing Americans on the moon. The only problem, don't tell that to Vice President Mike Pence, though. This week, and, in fulfilling that mission, Pence did Trump's bidding quite well. Even though the current, more than that, he took the opportunity to hammer the agency's current efforts, proclaiming that the 2028 goal is just not good enough and adding, echoing a high school football coach, we are better than that. But space is not a sports game, and scientists aren't hanging around waiting for Gatorade and a pep talk. For one thing, the competition for the moon that Pence spent so much time talking about isn't even a competition at all. Right now, not only do Russian rockets US astronauts to the jointly operated International Space Station, but China's landing on the far side of the moon marked the first time since 2011 that NASA and Beijing collaboration that will likely help the US with Trump's goal of getting to the moon. That should be a model that we are looking to replicate in other sectors, not relationships we are eager to shred in the name of fostering one-sided competition. Moreover, even if China's and Russia's space programs were adversaries racing to dominate space, landing humans on the moon's surface isn't where the action is in 2019, even if it was in 1961. The reason? Landing on the moon, like bringing back manufacturing jobs and coal production, is an outdated idea of success from a time that Trump can't seem to realize is long past. An obsessive folk.